This is a place where students can come and research and learn about what they're passionate about and then turn their ideas and their concerns into reality. It's actually a dream that I've always had is to take my school library wherever I've been and create a center just like this. So when I walk in, I really was in awe because it should be the hub of the school. Yeah! And it should be where students want to come and they want to learn. And when you walk in here, you'll see students of all different um, instructional levels working on all kinds of things that they never even dreamed they could do. As well, the create table is empty, but that's because that table is now for you to choose whatever you want to create with and take it back there. Back here at our discover table, we have our circuits out, and we also have another hands-on activity that you can do here. Checkers is open. The the marble run is open back there. So like you're building its road, and then you'll use red, blue, and green markers to code its path. And here on these little cards, there's all these different coding combinations of colors. So it's not loud, it's not quiet, but there's a lot of thinking going on. There's a lot of hands-on activities going on. There's a lot of, you know, learning going on. Engaging, and it, I feel like it causes students to want to like go explore. They like to come in here and, and create different things, laugh and talk with each other, read sometime, and just work together. When the kids come in, they're able to be themselves. In inclusion, we have something called social skills, where we work with our students. And one of the reasons I like coming into the library with my students is because once you enter the door, you have to say hello, good morning to Miss McGowan before beginning anything. So she has spunk. <laughs> they they want to come in and they, they want to do uh, hands-on, tactile, they want to make things, they want to be creative. It's something that motivates them to do their work and do quality work so that they can come up here and get to play with all of the wonderful and, and interesting things that Ms. Teal has purchased for the students at our campus. Or if I have some students that I feel just need to come just because uh, their minds need to be explored even more, then I allow them to come as well. And the stations are constantly changing. She gets new ones and puts them out and the students are really excited to come and see which new stations are here. They do want to come back. So they obey the rules. They know what I expect of them. But they don't even need to be reminded because they're really enjoying what they're doing here. They're working hard, working together, working cooperatively. Oh, hey, hey, no need to fear. It's just your conscience. Don't worry, my dear. I'm sorry, my friends. It's time to go. But here's a little message from my friend Joe. I found my dad. <laughs> <laughs> We're making safety suits for dogs. We're trying to go in the military. And, then, and half of them don't even come back because uh, people in like Iraq, they uh, they tend to try and go for the dog first instead of the soldiers. We were going to do like a newspaper. Miss Till suggested. Yeah, we make a video and send it school wide. We cover like the news and we have like usually have jokes. Carnivorous plants were really interesting. We found an ant. And first we put it on this one, but it didn't get stuck. And it was just like walking on So we put it on this one. And it got stuck. Right, but we also have a newsletter that goes out every month. And we're trying to, we need to retake a picture because last picture we had was terrible quality. And but perfect. I love it. We're almost nine centimeters. He's like adapting very well to Texas. So PLC is a professional learning community where our teachers meet every single day as a team and every other week all come in and she goes to the PLCs and she works with the teachers and I will present to them a new ed tech tool. I try to give them 
some big things like the green screen, things that are kind of like, whoa, like cool. how I things that you really have to think about, like how am I going to do this in my classroom? Screen to create procedural text. I can use a green screen to introduce my unit. My students can use a green screen to do a book report. And she does start stepping back so that the teachers have ownership of it and it is theirs. It's not, well, Miss Teal did this. It's, look what I've done now. Hi, I'm Michaela, the announcer. Are you tired of being alone? Wish you had a pet? Well, now you can, for our introduction price, just $9.99, get your pet rock. You will be the most popular kid on the block and they get to talk about selling a pet rock. But in their script, they got to include things like statements that say, Just don't take me for granted. Well, granted is a type of igneous rock, and Iggy was one of the characters that would say that line. So it was a way to enrich the content that we were teaching in class that may not reach all kids because it is not something they're interested in, but they could be interested by getting to portray somebody um, that relates to that content. But I also try to give them resources that they can turn around and use immediately. Extensions just make life easier for you. But one that I wanted to show you is Advisor, which is great for students that are dyslexic. The that Advisor. That's fantastic. Um, I am putting on my badges that I've earned from coming to Teal's Tidbits. I love the stickers. <laughs> so I've been able to implement the Teal's Tidbits into my room. My room. We use Google Classroom almost daily. Um, we do fun things like cahoots. And my classroom technology is um, a learning tool and it aids in their learning. It's not just technology for technology's sake. She'll walk you through it, she'll let you do it, and then now you have that skill set and you use it all the time. And so, of course, when teachers start to feel that way, then they start stepping out of their comfort zone a little bit more each time. So she does a really good job with that. So I'm not a very tech savvy person, but I, the technology that I use in my classroom makes my life easier. They have the opportunity to create, to build, to dream, and that's what we want our kids to do. And so they have those opportunities in here. So when we allow our students to explore, create, and play with their own ideas, we give them ownership over their learning and they begin to see themselves as innovators who have good ideas and can transform those ideas into reality. And that's what this library is today. It is an innovative learning space.